Hi everyone, this video is going to talk about different sites to assess pulse at. And before we get started, I want to make sure that you know when you're taking pulse with your hand to not use your thumb. Your thumb has its own pulse in it, so it might cause you to inaccurately count. So if you're going to use your fingers, it's best to use your pointer finger and your middle finger to assess these sites. So let's get started. I already have the sites highlighted, but we're going to go through and I'm going to name each of them. So let's start from head to toe. Up here you have your temporal pulse. Right at your cheek you have your maxillary pulse. On either side of your neck here and here you have your carotid pulses. You have your brachial pulse right here which is what um, blood pressure, you put your stethoscope over for blood pressure. You have both a radial pulse and an ulnar pulse. A radial pulse would be felt on the thumb side whereas an ulnar pulse would be felt on the pinky side. And this is a really big place um, to make sure that you don't use your thumb. Right here you have your femoral pulse, and I know it's kind of odd because your femur is right here, but this is the femoral triangle, and you want to make sure that you get that right in that kind of groin area. Over here you have your popliteal pulse, which is right at the back of the knee. You're going to have to kind of dig for this one. And then you have your dorsalis pedis pulse right on the top of your foot and your posterior tibialis pulse. That's kind of right behind that ankle bone that budges out right in the middle. And sometimes it's really hard to find either this pulse. Um, it's even harder to find the popliteal and the femoral. But one key thing that I've learned, if you can find the dorsalis pedis pulse, all the other pulses are there. So if you can't find this one, definitely try to find somebody else to find it, but that could mean that there's some problem with circulation. So those are all of the major sites to assess pulse, and don't forget, never use your thumb to assess pulse. Alright, thanks guys.